Hello guys, JNM here with some tips for posing a sculpted character using Blender 2.82. This is a creature that I'm currently working on. At the moment it has four separate objects, two for the body, then the legs and the arms. You see I can select these in object mode. And I added switching to sculpt mode or object mode to the quick favorites menu. And for this character I want to show you how to pose body parts, for example here the neck is very straight and I want to bend it a bit. So I press numpad 3 to go to the right autographic view and I want to rotate this upper part, which doesn't work for example when I press the G key to use the grab brush because you move the other parts as well and distort your topology, so I use here the lasso mask brush to mask the upper part only. Also this part here. Then I press Ctrl and the I key to invert the mask. And we have to remove some parts of the mask. So I press the Ctrl key and use the mask brush to take away some parts. But the border of the mask is a bit edgy, so I select Mask, Smooth Mask. And look at this, now you have a nice smooth transition. And when I rotate this now, I get less distortions. But the problem is that the gizmo is located down here. But we need the pivot point at the border of the mask, so I go to Sculpt, Set Pivot and Pivot to Mask Border. And with this you can rotate this upper part like that. Perhaps you know these mask features from ZBrush. And it's really great that this is available in Blender now. Ok, let's do the same for the arm. Of course I can use the lasso mask as before. So we would mask the area and then invert it. But I want to show you a different possibility to mask this part of the arm. You go to that location, press Shift and A to mask all and then you move upwards and remove the mask along the arm. Ok, now to smooth out the border again, you can select Smooth Mask. You see I also added this to the quick favorites, but another way to do this is to use the normal mask brush and press Ctrl left mouse button to remove some parts here at the border. And again we have a smooth transition and we can select the rotate brush, set the pivot to the mask border and pose the lower part of the arm. Ok, very nice, I also want to show you the pose brush and use it for example to pose the fingers. For instance this finger has to be posed a bit to the outside, so I select the pose brush and then hover over this finger and you can see it kind of recognizes the geometry, but I have to increase the size of the brush by pressing the F key and the same for this finger here. This means the pose origin of the pose brush depends on the size of the brush and this is relative to the zoom of the viewport. So you have to play around with this to find out when it's better to change the size of the brush or to adjust the zoom of the viewport. Ok, now let's assume we want to pose two fingers and the other part of the hand should not be affected. So I use here again the lasso mask and mask the part that should not be posed. And then I come again with the pose brush, press F to increase the brush size and when I pose now, you see that only these two fingers are moved. So I really love this new mask features. Let me show you another one for masking which has nothing to do with posing the character but anyway, it's great. So I mask this part again and yeah, I want to remove it. I use again smooth for the mask, but actually you don't need this for removing this part. Then I go to the mask menu and choose mask slice and fill holes. This takes a while and then the part is removed. You see that the normals of this part of this object have been flipped, but don't worry we are going to remesh this and the remesher will fix the normals. So I open this remesh menu and press remesh. 
to have again an evenly distributed topology after this cut. Ok, the normals are fixed as well and now we can go ahead and switch to sculpt mode and continue sculpting. Ok, the last thing that I want to show you is posing with the pose brush and IK segments and I'll do this for the legs. So with the pose brush selected, I go to the brush properties and set the IK segments to let's say 3. Then I hover with the cursor over this leg, press F to increase the size of the brush a bit and then the magic happens. You can pose these parts with a kind of auto IK, even with X symmetry enabled by the way. And for the legs it's pretty good because I want to give them a more insect style. So I think I will stick to this, looks more interesting and I will do this for the other legs as well. Ok, looks good or at least interesting so far. Of course this character needs a head that I will create perhaps tomorrow. I hope you like this Blender sculpting tips and tricks tutorials. If you do then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Support me as my patron, this would be great and I'll see you soon here on JNM.